Hey everyone, Shanti78 here for the Rough Cuts Sunday. What better way to celebrate Sunday than with a little Grace? Grace is a film that I saw this year at South by Southwest with the director Paul Soleil. With Grace, it initially premiered at Sundance Film Festival to mixed reviews. A lot of people really freaked out by it. Apparently one woman even fainted. And that did not happen at South by Southwest at all. The best way that I would describe Grace as far as a horror film goes is that if the Lifetime Movie Network, or just plain Lifetime Network, did a horror film, it would be Grace. Simply because of how it was shot, how it was lit, the subtlety of the music. It was all very subtle. Aside from the whole baby rising from the dead aspect of it, the rest of it is very realistic. What happens is that you have a vegan woman who is pregnant, she gets into a wreck, and the fetus dies. However, she still wants to carry the pregnancy to full term and have the baby that way. She doesn't want to have to have surgery in order to take out the baby because she's all very much into the whole natural way of things. So she carries her pregnancy to full term, expecting to give birth to a stillborn child. However, in within the birth water, she's holding the baby and the baby comes to life. As you can tell from the poster of the bottle of blood, the baby survives only on blood. So this is when you come to the whole crossroads of what is this vegan wo woman to do because her baby basically has to survive on everything that she's against. This was originally based on a six minute short by Paul Soleil, also called Grace. That film is really freaky if you see it. This film, however, not as freaky. Once again, I would describe it as if Lifetime Network did a horror film, it would be Grace. Not because it's really corny. I really enjoyed the film, but um, just how the storyline goes, it's kind of slow. And it really does seem like they took a six minute short and dragged it out to an hour and a half or however long this film was. And so you might really like it. Like I said, it was really well done. However, you might also be incredibly bored out of your mind. When I saw this at South by Southwest, you know, I was all swept up in the whole hype of in the energy of the movie. And the director was there. Everyone's talking. There are funny parts in it. We're all laughing together. Apparently that didn't happen at Sundance, no one was laughing at the funny parts. But with this film, you have just your typical Lifetime Network story, where you have the men that are basically background characters. You've got the ones that are either useless, expendable, conniving, or just plain wrong. As for the women, you've got the loving, devoted mother. You've got the crazy psycho mother who needs to cut the cord. And you've got, like, the jealous women, also a whole, like, little lesbian aspect is thrown in there. And then you've got this baby. And at the beginning of the film, when they were interviewing Paul Soleil, they're all like, oh, man, I can't believe you went there, dude. I can believe it because there wasn't that far to go. So with that whole aspect of it, it was just kind of... Not really lame, but it wasn't as cutting edge as they would leave you to believe. So I did enjoy this. However, you might be bored out of your mind. It's really pretty to watch, which is funny to say because of a horror film. The star of the film, beautiful. The baby is actually very pretty. It's a very pretty baby. You'll notice about that. Not, not when it's like suckling and everything is kind of freaky, but... If you're kind of faint at the thought of like real blood, then this might freak you out because it does go through the whole childbirth thing and then the other realistic gore. I think that's the part that kind of freaks people out is that it's very realistic. It isn't over the top. Like I said before, it's very subtle in how it does things. So with your mind, you're wondering, huh, this could actually happen, not the whole baby rising from the dead but how the violence goes it could actually happen and i think that's what plays with your mind is it the whole dude i don't think you should have gone there you went too far no i don't think it's that at all anyway i hope you all are doing well i have to get back to work don't get sick have a great week bye
I came home and I discussed this with Brian and he said that Grace is a highly disturbing film. It is edgy and not Lifetime Network at all. And that you will enjoy this and that you shouldn't trust me because I'm on crack and I used to cut up dead people for a living as well as perform surgery on myself with a pocket knife. So I'm therefore jaded and cannot be trusted. So either way, both of us enjoyed this movie. You may or may not like it. If you're into like slasher gore films, you'll probably be bored. But he says it's edgy. I don't think it is. He thinks it's disturbing. I think it's kind of tame. So you decide.